Intercepted by Dyer. Oxley Chamberlain into the path of Ali. Sterling is in space. See if Ali can connect with him. He does. Raheem Sterling has support here from Ryan Bertrand. It's into Harry Kane and England lead in Paris. Goal after goal after goal from Harry Kane in recent weeks. One late in the day in Glasgow meant so much to England at the weekend. He scored early tonight. Ten in his last five matches for club and country. Well, it's a great move they've put together, Clive. Look at this ball from, uh, from Delia. They win possession here, break quickly. This is a wonderful, uh, wonderful ball. He sees there's one over it, and there's just not too much space to get in. Great touch from Sterling, lovely little bit of skill. Look at that, fantastic. Bertrand coming through, and Harry Kane does what he does really well. Gets goal side of a defender, look on the back of him. Giroud has been joined by Umtiti on the edge of the penalty area. It's in towards Giroud, a good save there. City who's equalised for France. Towering header by Olivier Giroud. Tom Heaton could only fend it away and fend it into the path of Samuel Umtiti, who scores his first international goal. And with a quarter of the match gone, it's 1 1. That's disappointing, isn't it? There's blue shirts, goal side. It's a good ball in. Giroud's got to be marked. Good save from Heaton. Here he is now. Receiving the ball from Sidibe. Trying to feed Mbappe. It's come back for Dembele. Good save by Heaton, it's 2-1. And it's a big moment. France take the lead. And it's Gibral Sidibe's first international goal, the right back who prompted that break. Just kept on running. And England are behind, approaching half-time. And a big question now as to whether they can come back from this. Well, unfortunately, I said... Dembele was the problem, he keeps popping up in good positions. Wonderful skill from the young man and followed up by the right back who's continued his run. Look at that for skill. John Stones, I think it was, who's dived in a little bit anxious. Gareth Southgate did speculate about... I think Ali has chased his own pass here and he's onside and still goes on now as he unbalanced there by yeah. Ferrari. Yes, he was. Penalty has been given. Deli Ali was trying to accelerate away from Rafael Varane and there was contact. He's clipped him. Down he went. Just there, there's contact, there's a definite penalty. It's strange how Deli Ali got in behind the back four. It was really lax. I think they thought that the, the, the linesman was going to give a, an offside against Kane, but Deli Ali was cute enough to chase the ball himself. Now the referee has gone to the video review here and he's. Listening to Marco Guida and Massimiliano Gerati, the, uh, the two Italian international referees watching on on television screens. We don't actually get to hear the conversation, which you often do in other sports in rugby and cricket. The referee is going to show a red card here to Varane. So he's going to get the penalty, that's for sure. And Varane is going to be sent off. And that's what the referee wanted to know. Here's the ball here, he flicks it on. Harry Kane doesn't, he looks as if he's going to go for it. I thought he was offside there, but Deli Ali's cute enough to continue his run and there's contact made there and if the offense is holding pulling or pushing the referee can still award a red card and 40 odd minutes to play against 10 French players spice things up a little bit here Harry Kane Tottenham vice captain against Tottenham captain Hugo Lloris wins England on terms his second goal of the evening against his club mate and the ultimate punishment for France they lose a goal and a man well it's a clever penalty Harry Kane knows that Larissa has seen him take penalties time and time again he normally goes into one of the corners this time he said no my club mate knows where I'm going I'm going down the centre very rarely does he do that, go down the centre. I think that's a really clever penalty. We will not
not sure Oxlade Chamberlain wanted that. It's won by Conte. And Bappe! Oh, he's hit the crossbar! Lamar stopped on the line. Gary Cahill still and Bappe. And Lamar turned away by Oxlade Chamberlain. England survive. Mistake by Dyer. Lamar to Pogba. And here's Mbappe. Instead, it's Dembele! Make it. It's the first at international level for Usman Dembele. But England have gifted France a goal. Jack Butland is beaten, and England find themselves having to come from behind again. Well, they give the ball away too easy. It's a lovely first time ball from Pogba. You think Mbappe might have hit it, but Dembele strikes it really well across the keeper. Sets himself lovely, and Cahill thinks he's maybe going through his legs. Tries to maybe make the block. It's a terrible ball from the back players there of England. They then go chasing the ball. Space is open up, and it's a good finish from Dembele.